Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewet channel. Today we will be discussing a brief course outline of veterinary parasitology as per the MSVE 2016 curriculum. So veterinary parasitology is the study of animal parasites, especially the relationship between parasites and animal host. Parasites of domestic animals, that means livestock, pet animals, as well as wildlife animals will be considered. Veterinary parasitologists study the genesis and development of parasitosis animals and we have also many points regarding the public health significance of many zoonotic parasites. So according to MSV 2016, the course credit is 3 plus 2 that is 3 theory and 2 practicals in a week. Number of units present is 5 and this is the annual examination pattern. For paper 1 you will be having 1, 2, 3 and paper 2, 4 and 5. 20 marks from the internal. So, Unit 1 General Veterinary Parasitology. We will be dealing with the important historical landmarks, important history and scientist knowledge, types of parasites and types of host, mode of transmission, method of dissemination of infective stages, different types of infective stages, immunity against parasitic infestation, and nomenclature of parasites and parasitic infections and infestations. And we will be classifying the main phylum of the parasites. Moving to Unit 2, we will be studying the trametodes and cestodes of veterinary importance. So, this include liver flukes, blood flukes, and in cestodes, we will be having mainly anaplocephala, paranaplocephala, monizia, ruminant tapeworms, equine tapeworms, poultry tapeworms, and dog tapeworms, and broadfish tapeworms. So, we will be studying the life cycle, important morphological features. Transmission, pathogenesis, epidemiology, diagnosis, and general control measures, and the zoonotic aspect of this parasites. So, moving to unit 3, which is the nematodes of veterinary importance. So, we will be studying the developmental stages, introductory features, general life cycle, epidemiology, diagnosis, and management of the, these nematodes. That is mainly the Ascaris, Parascaris, the Toxocara, the Hemonchus, the Mularius, the Lungworms. The hookworms, the kidney worms, the guinea worms, etc. And we will be studying about the antihelminthic resistance and types of antihelminthic resistance. In Unit 4, the arthropods of veterinary importance. We will be dealing with the general classification, general life cycle, arthropods, morphological features, important morphological features, general bionomics, life cycle, classification details, and the life cycle and the zoonotic aspects of many bugs, biting midges, black flies. Bottle flies, horse flies, lice, fleas, mites, etc. And we will be studying about the insecticide and acaricide resistance. So, moving to the last unit, which is the protozoa of veterinary importance, we will be dealing with the protozoology. That is protozoa, kingdom protozoa. So, development as, as usual, we will be studying the basic general features of many protozoa histomonas, trichomonas, pyroplasts, cyst forming coccidia, trichomonas, trypnosomes, leishmania. And we will be dealing with many protozoans which has got zoonotic interest. We will be dealing with malarial parasites, visceral and cutaneous leishmaniosis. We will be dealing with the chemotherapy and immunoprofile axis. And also the resistance to antiprotozoal drugs we will be dealing with. So in practical there are 5 units present. That is first one is general veterinary parasitology. We will be dealing with the fecal examination technique, post-mortem uh, post hall visit. Collection and examination of skin scrapings for mites, examination of urine sample, nasal washings, blood smear preparation, fecal culturing techniques. In Unit 2, trametodes and cestodes of veterinary importance. Morphological characters and will be demonstration of the gross and microscopic lesions produced by the parasites. This is in the trametodes and cestodes. And the Unit 3, nematodes of veterinary importance, will be dealing with the gross and microscopic and microscopic lesions produced by the parasites, which are the nematodes. So, in case of arthropods also, they will be dealing with uh, the microscopic lesions, gross lesions and the morphological features of the adult families. Regarding the protozoa of veterinary importance or the unit 5, we will be dealing with demonstration of gross and microscopic lesion due to protozoan parasite. Blood protozoans will be identified, correlation diagnosis of coccidia, zeal nielsen staining techniques, other fecal examination techniques of main protozoa. Thank you.